I'm here with another video for you today and it's another unboxing. However, I don't actually have it with me. Um, it was a box for my mum's dog, Simba, <clears throat> and it was a lovely company called Bark Beats who sent me this box to review. And well, for, it, I'd say it was for me to review, but it's not really, it was more for Simba to review. Um, I have filmed little bits with Simba, um, getting his first reaction to any toys, treats, stuff like that. So I will be inserting the clips in of this little segment, so do bear with me. But I thought I'd kind of just talk you through each of the items first and then let you watch exactly what his reactions were. In the box came exactly what you kind of get in a glossy box and it's like a review, a review? No, a description of each item in said box. So the first item that's on the list is the Carly Aqua Sea Toy, Neoprene Floaty Toys, great for the tub. Neoprene floaty toys, great for the tub, pool or beach, made for summertime. Stock these adorable animals on your shelves and watch them sail out the door. Lots of fun under the water. This is stock your shelves. Don't know if this is made for maybe a shop? I'm not entirely sure, but I do think they do subscription boxes, as far as I'm aware, so... Um, the next item is the Barks and Sparks smoothie. How to prepare it. One, mix the powder with 200 mils of water or natural yogurt. Better with yogurt as it'll be creamier. Number two, mix it well until blended. Three, pour it into the smoothie cup and leave it in the fridge until cool. Yum. Um, speaking of which, I should probably tell you like what I thought of each one. The toy, um, Simba got a little red crab um, who I personally called Sebastian because it reminded me of the Little Mermaid. Um, really resistant, hand stitched, so it's going to last a century. Um, he's actually on holiday at the moment with my parents, who we will be joining in um, a few days, and I'm sure he's taken that with him to take to the beach. The smoothie smelt disgusting, like it literally just smelt of cheese. However, Simba loved it. We don't tend to give Simba um, a lot of heavy or um, treaty kind of stuff just because his tummy is really, really, really sensitive. Um, so we only let him have like a couple of like laps at this um, just to see if dogs like it. Uh, and he did. Um, so that was a thumbs up or a pause up from Simba. Uh, the next thing is a uh, Gisunda Hundicus treats i'm not lying that is literally what it says what is that i'm not sure uh these gourmet snacks made with potato flour eggs and freshly grated parmesan cheese are the healthiest way to treat your doggy as they are grain free and rich in omega-3 these we actually gave him um the whole grain free rich in omega i think it was also was it wheat free or what's the other one gluten free i think it might have been gluten free not entirely sure but uh, he loved these. They're basically just like little tiny cheese flavoured potato things. Uh, really hard. Um, but he loved them. I think he his tummy was fine with them, which was good. Uh, the following thing is the RAC Travel Water Bottle. Um, it's thirsty work running around all day, but lots of fun too. This bottle comes in handy to keep the dogs hydrated when walking them or travelling. And this is the RAC... Let's see if I can just show you in that picture. I think I filmed a little clip with Simba, but... Just that little RAC thing there. You basically fill the bottle with water <clears throat> and then it's got like an orange flap where you keep the bottle in. But when you're traveling or when you're going on a hike with your dog or a walk and he gets thirsty, you pull the bottle up, pop it up from its sports cap, the water comes out into the little tray. You pop it shut when there's enough water in, the dog laps it up, you close it and you carry on your merry way. The following one, was a bit strange, um, not just, not only did we realise from reading it, but I think Simba realised too, um, they are called wolf snacks. These snacks are made from 100% high quality protein sources to provide the highest quality and the best nutritional intake. Once cooked, uh, they are packed without any chemical additives, preservatives or dyes. Sounds amazing, right? Oh, there's a cat there. Um, they looked amazing, they didn't necessarily smell bad, but it was a weird mixture. I don't know if, yeah, basically it was 
they were like little tiny cubes they looked a bit like um licorice all sorts and they had half one color and half another one color was blue and then the other one was white the white was chicken which for a dog love it the top half that was blue was blueberry so blueberry and chicken now when we first gave it to simba he kind of sniffed it as you'll see in the footage and he was like, I'm not sure about this. I can kind of smell chicken, so I want to eat it. But I can also smell fruit, so I don't want to eat it. And the only fruit that we've seen that Simba's kind of okay with is banana. So maybe if it was chicken and banana, he would have guzzled it down. But um, blueberry, don't know. Is that a dog thing? Um, but all in all, this box was really, really cute. Um, he loved it, as you'll see in the footage coming up. And... Um, yeah, I will definitely leave their links below, prices on the screen as well, just in case you guys are interested. Um, I'm sure they do like monthly ones and like fortnightly or whatever. Um, and I don't think it was too expensive either. I think they're based in the UK as far as I am aware. Um, and yeah, I will leave their details below. And now you can watch Simba wrecking havoc on these poor innocent treats and toys. Bye guys. Thank you.